Welcome to Smelly's Kitchen. We're gonna be cooking up some amazing steaks today. These are gonna be unbelievable. I already salted them, they've already been resting. We have olive-fed beef, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, how ridiculous is that? Cows that only eat olives. I don't know how it works. I don't have any understanding of it, but I went on this uh, website called crowdcow.com and my wife and I, we ordered these up. And uh, this is a Wagyu ribeye. I think this is like a, the highest level you can get to. <laughs> they, they, they have different rankings of them. And then this is a filet. And uh, I think these are about 200 bucks a piece or something ridiculous like that. But spare no expense. It's the final day. We need some celebration. Am I right? So I got some uh, beef tallow here from our people over at Epic, and I'm gonna throw that over here. I just like to, I like to really sear the outside of it, and it's gonna sear anyway because you can see the grill's already starting to smoke. We already got some smoke going right there, right? But I wanna throw this on there just to get it to be, to raise up in temperature just a little bit more. The uh, fat that's in here is, you know, energy, so it's gonna burn, it's gonna really kinda burn and we'll get a little smoke going. We're not gonna use too much of it. Just about a teaspoon of it will be perfect. So here we go. I'm just gonna put it up there and it's gonna kinda of slip and slide kinda of all around. <clears throat> and let that just kinda of marinate over there. Let that sit there. Maybe poke it around a little bit. surface now see we got some smoke going that's awesome normally I would throw on our fan but I don't want the fan to be loud and interrupt this amazing cooking experience that we have going on here so here we got the steaks look at these bad boys are you zooming in on these things look at this this is incredible look at this meat are we really gonna are we really gonna be cooking this up right now this is gonna be crazy <laughs> I don't, I don't want to mess it up. You know, these are expensive steaks. I was almost trying to call some of my friends that cook and some of my friends that are chefs and stuff like that. I was like, I think I need some help. But then I slapped myself around a little bit and realized I can do it. So this one's going to take a little longer. So this guy's going to go on first. I'm going to let that guy sit on there just for a minute. What I like to see is I like to see from the bottom, it start to cook upward a little bit. And that's usually a good sign for me to flip it. But what I wanted to show you is, you know, so with the hand, you can tell the tenderness of your meat by using this part of your hand, the chubby part of your thumb here. And mine's probably fatter than, than some, than or fatter than most. Now, <clears throat> if we go like this right here, this is going to be well done. The feel of this versus the feel of that. You got it, we're on page 43. That's gonna be well done. Then we have medium well, then we got medium, then we have medium rare, and then rare is just don't cook it at all, right? Pretty simple. That guy looks like it's going pretty good. I'm gonna hork this guy on there. Whoop. Look at that. Oh man. Now we play the old waiting game. This is the hard part. You gotta be patient when you're cooking up food. And it's probably the, the hardest part. You know, I had to let it sit for about a half an hour. I had to take it out of the fridge, <clears throat> let it get to room temperature. And I had to put salt on it and let it sit there and let it let the salt kind of soak into it. And then now we gotta wait for it to cook, which this is the hardest part. Well, the hardest part is yet to come. But this is one of the hardest parts because we gotta sit here and agonize. We keep smelling the food. And I just want to eat, you know, how many of you are like me and you're over the, the stove and you're eating the food simultaneously. A lot of times, uh, you know, I might cook up some like bacon or something or cook some eggs. Eggs cook up really fast. I might cook eggs or make my bone broth and I might make that uh, kind of like while I'm cooking so I can eat while I'm cooking, if that makes sense. You can see this guy look like, like, looks like it's doing really well. Looks like it's doing really good. We're gonna give it a flip a roof. Oh my god. Holy cannoli. That is looking amazing. 
This one's a little thicker, so I may have uh, overseared it a little bit on that side. But we'll kind of see how it turns out. It's a little tricky, you know, when you're trying to get a thicker steak. And that's why some people will finish their steak in the oven or sometimes they'll do a reverse sear. They'll kind of get the middle cooked a little bit uh, before they go ahead and sear it on the stove. This guy is going to be much shorter, so I'm going to be guessing at the time to flip here. Whoa. Gotta be, gotta be sitting here like this. <laughs> Put a little thumb. It's been, uh, it's been great to help a lot of people during this journey. It's been fantastic hearing. Uh, I mean, there's been so many testimonials. I've heard people losing 10 pounds, 15 pounds, 20 pounds, 30 pounds, just in one month's time. And people are feeling better and they have more energy. Uh, my dad has been doing a diet. My mom has been doing a diet. My mom's lost 15 pounds. My dad's lost 10 pounds. My aunt has lost about 30 pounds. She started much earlier, so her journey has been more than just a month. But it's just been it's been really really awesome to see all the people that this is helping, and hopefully it's encouraging some of you. I think it's done. Yeah, we're getting close. So as I feel that, that's feeling about right. I'm gonna give it just a little longer because we got a little bit more to go around the outside here. Let me see if I can look at it and see what we got. See what we got over here? I think we got just a little longer. But you're always better off pulling it off a little too early. You know, it's kind of disappointing that you have to sometimes put it back on there because you screwed up. But you leave the grill on and you, you let it keep going and um, it's better than overcooking it. You know, you don't want to turn the thing into a hockey puck. Yeah. yeah I think the, the ribeye has so much fat in it that it's hard to even pick up off of the thing here. And then because the ribeye is so thin, I think it could be done. This little fat guy's got a little bit longer. Not too much longer to go. I want you guys to kind of think back, those of you that have been following along with the carnivore diet, those of you that have been following along from day one, and uh, just know that the journey that I've been on the entire time, you have got to see me at McDonald's, you got to see me at a 49ers game, you got to see me in various restaurants, you got to see me with my family, you got to see me by myself, you got to see me cook up crock pot food, you got to see me make buffalo wings, you got to see me do a wide array of things and it didn't matter where I was or where I was going, who I was with, I was still able to stay on the diet. And I think that's a really tough thing to do, but you want to try your best to stand your ground because it could be something that changes your life. If something that's changed your life, then it's going to be something that you're going to want to do the best possible job you can do with. So I think both of those guys are done. Now, we're gonna let them rest over here. <clears throat> those are looking amazing. And as I let this rest, we have Andy Bell is gonna come in here and show you guys one of our favorite snacks. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to have this snack during carnivore month because I decided that I wasn't gonna eat dairy. But this is one of my favorite things to eat. I know a lot of you guys and girls are like us. You wanna sit down as a couple. You wanna have that extra snack at the end of the day, but none of us want to gain weight, none of us want to be fat, none of us want to feel unhealthy. So it's important that we stay on a plan and it's important that we stay on a diet. And so here we have our mix. <clears throat> Hello. So this is pretty simple. It's um, literally just two ingredients. We like to use this yogurt. It's a uh, Grazer's full fat yogurt. So if you look at the stats, which they're really tiny, but they don't have, uh, it has uh, only eight sugars in the whole thing and seven fat and about 130 calories. So it's not too bad as far as yogurts go. And you just put it in your bowl. Mm. 
You want to stir it up? Sure. And then we do a scoop of slingshot protein chocolate. And then you just stir it up. And it makes... It'll, it'll take a second, you know, to get, to get it stirred into there, but it'll work. And it makes a nice little, like, a chocolate pudding. It's absolutely amazing. If you've got a little bit of patience for it and you can stick it in the fridge, it like starts to get even better because it'll get a little colder. You want to try to make sure that the whey protein is going to kind of stick to itself a little bit. So you might want to take it and kind of mash it. See, I'm kind of mashing it down. But it's absolutely awesome. It's fantastic. The other thing you can do is you can either enjoy it right away or put it in the freezer and then it turns into almost like ice cream. So it's really good. Yeah. Uh, you can use any I don't know yogurt. You, should, you shouldn't have gave them that tip for free. Well, you can use any, um, Seriously. any yogurt, but we recommend plain yogurt and because uh, it has less sugar. And it won't, I know a lot of plain yogurts taste like sour cream, but once you put this in there, it tastes, it tastes really good. Um, any flavored yogurts would be way too sweet. So if you did a vanilla, you think that would make it better, it won't. It's Look at that, sweet. and it's ready to go. Right, so the, the what we like about this yogurt is its consistency. It's actually kind of runny. So it um, makes it just, a, I think a better, it makes it a better flavor. Yeah, um, but like I said, you can put it in the freezer too, and it's good. And that's that. Yep, there we go. There's our little, our little side snack. So I think we should celebrate with, uh, Maybe we can get some bone broth over here. Let's see if we got some of that. Well, you can do bone broth, but uh... Oh, what are you doing? Do you want to do something different? <laughs> this is his and hers. Well, I don't want to miss out on the... What's this other thing we got going on here? <laughs> this doesn't sound fair. Well, we're celebrating, I think well, I... I didn't know about this before, I, I guess... Well, the celebration, uh, I deserve this too for... Uh, having to put up with my bullshit. Having to put up with a, a month of carnivore. I did. I did about four days, so. Well, I think I earned this. Well, yeah, you eat predominantly meat too, but she does have to, you know, endure kind of a lot because, you know, I got my phone out all the time. You know, I got to film all these things, or I'm on Instagram, or doing something stupid. So, she's got a, uh, you know, she's whether she wants to be or not. Okay. She's along for the ride. Now, I'm not gonna make it shoot up because we paid a lot of money for these overhead lights, so. Why not? Just aim it, aim it that way. Go ahead this way. Alright, I'll go this way. There you go, go for it. Hey! Did that make that anywhere? I'm gonna kill you. So which one do you want? <clears throat> you need both. <laughs> That's not very exciting. I think it's exciting. <laughs> Beef juice. Beef juice or champagne? Pretty good. Yeah, that's awesome. I think we know how to have fun. <laughs> ah, I might, I might. Well, so the hard part's over. The hardest part is letting it sit there, but luckily we were distracted doing some other things. Uh, can I get a big old knife? The internet's gonna be upset no matter what. No, no matter what's inside this uh, meat, the internet's gonna be upset. But uh, I did the best I can, I think. Yeah. Maybe uh, I had a fork. Yeah, I don't know. Is that oh, I just had it in here. Oh. oh, there we go. There we go. Let's see what we got. Maybe get a little drum roll here. <clears throat> Let's see. There we go. There's the drum roll. <laughs> hey, that looks pretty good to me. Look at that. Uh -huh. uh, normally, I'd have it a, more, a little bit more rare in the middle, but it might be as we get to the middle of it. And uh, let's, um, I don't know how to size this, size this guy up. Let me just try a little chunk here. I don't think we're even going to see a middle because it doesn't really, it's very thin. Let's give it a shot. Taking everything I got to not fall over right now. That is insane. That is really good. It's worth every penny. <laughs> All right. Hi right, guys. I showed you how to cook. I showed you how to make up some steak. I showed you how to cook burgers. I took you all through many different things. I showed you my favorite bone broth. I showed you my secret uh, yogurt recipe. 
Thank you so much for following along with Smelly's Kitchen. Thank you so much for following along with World Carnivore Month. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you learned something from this video. Hopefully you got some value from it. Uh, thanks to the wifey. You know, the wifey is the one always prepping the stuff. It's not me, uh, you know, making everything look all fancy and nice. I don't even know where we have most of this stuff. Like, I don't know where this dish came from or the bowl. Like, I don't know where that stuff comes from. She handles all that stuff. Strength is never a weakness. Weakness is never strength. Catch you all later.